What is going on, everybody? Damn, guy, you so rude. Okay, anyway. Uh, before I was interrupted. Okay, so what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My Garage. Now, in this episode, uh, I want to show off a, another mod. So, these rims are basically a mod that is still work in progress. It is a mod created by EST Banana. So comment down below if you would like to also have a chance in testing these mods, because basically anybody can test it. Uh, you just need to join their Discord. So yes, hit a comment down below and I'll see if I can get a link for you. But yeah, today we will be continuing with the Pontiac Firebird, which we started uh, part one on the previous episode. So yes, we'll be making our way back to the shop and see if we can do that build, finish it up. Or well, probably not finish it up. So yes, how is everybody doing? And tell me, have you started building your first uh, Plym Pontiac Firebird? Nearly said Plymouth. There's another Plymouth mod as well we'll be looking at soon. So here we are, back at the shop. We're gonna dive right into this thing. Now, I'm not gonna put these rims on pickup just yet. See, I'm running on a spare tire over there. But, let's get straight back into this Pontiac Firebird build. Now, as you can see, I've stripped off all of the unnecessary parts. So, we do not have any body panels from the bot anymore. So, we're going to dive right in and start putting this thing together. Let me just get my welder over here. I think that should work. Alright, so basically what I think I'm going to do is buy basically everything that you are going to need. So obviously I did all the front parts already. So I'm going to need the rocker panels, we're going to need the roof, the middle panel, two quarter panels, a rear bumper, a rear hatch, a middle panel, we did that already, rear valance, the taillight panel, and I think these two as well as these two okay so that's quite a lot of stuff and it's like scattered everywhere yeah so I think let's start with come on let me grab this so these you want to close your doors for this otherwise your door flies off trust me I've tested this so yeah I have done the test so that you don't have to struggle with it so yeah we're gonna mount that part there and we're gonna grab our welder we're gonna come down here and start welding it right so there we go that is the right panel rocker panel sorted and then we're gonna go around to the other side I'm just gonna drop this here for a second Alright, so we are looking for the left rocker panel, which will be on this side, so we'll see over there. Come on, dude, just work with me. Alright, so we're going to weld it up here. There's another one there. You'll probably see it from the top there. And then we've got a couple of these down here. Alright, so... That is the rocker panels in place. Right, let's start with the quarter panels. I don't know which side this is now, I didn't check. Probably this side. Okay, so we'll just secure that over here for now. Let's grab the other one on the left. Put that in place there. And just secure it over there. Alright, so next you want to grab your top or your roof. And then you're going to look for your welding handle, which is over here. It's hiding. I'm just going to put that on there. We've got one over here. Same on the other side. One over here. And one over there. All right. So that is the roof on. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got these wheel houses. One on that side. And this one is hiding in the corner over there. Right, so let's put these in place like that, and 
place our gas bottle, which is empty. Actually, I should go and refill these, so I'll just put it there for now. Okay, so we gotta weld this piece up and that piece. All right, that's all for that for now. Let's grab these side panels. This is the left. And we've got the right one somewhere here. There we go, this is it. Put that in place and let's weld them up. Put it over here, all right. So there's a weld on top of the wheelhouse. And then there is one over here and another one over there. Same on the other side, we'll go down over here and over there. All right, so that is basically that. Let me see, the next part I need is the rear valance part. No, this is the, what is this called? This is the middle panel. I think I still have to buy the rear valance, so we'll get to that in a second. So this one welds up. A little bit weird actually. Alright, so we got that. Okay, so we need a rear valance. Now I think I did buy one. It's just probably sometimes these things they fall under the tiles there. But that's okay. We'll, we'll just buy another one if we don't find the other one. So we'll put this one in place. One, two, three welds. Now we can grab our taillight panel and put it all there. And let's weld it up in place. Two, three, okay. So that is basically all the welds done. I think, oh yeah, there's one more piece I need to weld in. Is this middle panel, which we will place it snaps somewhere here but it goes to the roof so when you take your welding gun you can have these two floating welds over there so yeah i think this guy will probably still update the mod eventually and change the welding spots i don't know how hard that is actually for the modders but yeah well it is a mod so there's a lot of things to consider all right so let's get this bumper mounted so there's two bolts over there and over there and then we've got our rear hatch which goes on here it's got four bolts two on each side all right did i just murder myself with a chunklet anyway moving on so that is basically all of these parts gone that we just bought so that is pretty much all of the body panels and stuff you need to fit and weld to the vehicle. The other parts are basically interior parts. So the interior parts, we have done the front door panels as well as the dashboard and cluster. So we just need to buy the left and right as well as the headliner, the floor and the weather stripping. All right, so you want to grab the weather stripping first. I believe that's what it's called. Let's just double check. No, this is the headliner. So you put that headliner in first. And it actually bolts to the roof over there. And then as for the weather stripping, this just snaps into place. You don't have to bolt it down or anything. But with these panels, the right and the left, you sort of have to aim it here by the B pillar side, and then the bolt for it is down here, over there. Same with the other side. On the left, you aim there somewhere, and then you'll see the bolt right down over here. Right, this last bit. It's the inner floor which goes in the trunk. Basically, you bolt it down over there, and then that is your interior of this bolt sorted. Now, I know my seats are brown. I will change them to black ones at some point. 
But my next part will be the windows, which requires you to take out the existing wiper blade arms. So these wiper linkages, you take it out because when we come and buy the windows now, the rear window, now this thing, it's quite transparent. It's very hard to see it, but there it is. So you can come and mount that, but when, when you buy the front windshield, you will notice that it has a cowl with windscreen wipers attached, so that just basically snap, snaps in like all the other windows, but it comes with the wiper blades fitted to that. Now, in terms of functionality, none of these things work. The headlights don't work, the wiper blades don't work, neither does the taillights, but at least it looks like a proper Pontiac Firebird. All right, so this is a, a hidden balance. We're just going to drop it over there. Now we're going to buy the T-top windows, which goes basically on top. So I haven't found any windows for this car physically. That, that's just to the winders. Uh, I haven't actually had a look at the original BART window, so let's let's maybe have a look at that and see what it'll look like if I mounted them. So we're going to go and buy ourselves a... Start with the front left, where is it? There we go. Front left. Let's just see what it... how it works out. So there... Yeah, you can see that's a bit short, so I'm not sure if we can find this in the junkyard, so comment down below if you found the Windows 40 Firebird on the sides. Uh, I don't think it exists just yet, but basically this is your Pontiac Firebird, and it started raining, so let's just uh, skip through that a little bit by sleeping. Okay, so there we go. Right, so our Firebird is complete, I believe. Now, you can mount license plates to this vehicle, but it actually ends up looking very weird and awkward. So, the front one actually mounts towards the back, somewhere over there, because obviously that is where the original car that this is based off, well, that is pretty much where it ends. So, it sits underneath the back bumper there. And also at the rear, I think it sticks out a bit. can't really remember, but I did test that, so I can tell you now that doesn't work just yet. So there might be some updates to the mod that'll make it possible to mount plates on this thing. But I think at the end of the day, that is a very good mod. You know, I can't wait until it's finally finished. But yes, we will have to see how far he goes in terms of, you know, making the mod more realistic like working gauges example none of the gauges work there's absolutely no buttons for the headlights working buttons for the headlights at all so none of these work your wiper blades switch works but that's only because it is an original BART steering column you're using so in terms of headlights, wiper blades, as I said, nothing functions, nor does the taillights, you can't even put bulbs in them. So yeah, that's maybe something they will update in the future. But yeah, so drop a comment down below and also um, let me know then what do you think of the Pontiac Firebird mod. And give me a little bit of uh, tips on what color I should paint this thing for the next episode. And let's have a look at the rims that I'm thinking of mounting on this. I might actually go with these five spoke wheels. These are rims by Fede. Fede's you guy, I think he's also in the Discord. So I'm thinking of mounting these on it. Considering we are doing this bolt. A standard well, a base model build. So yeah, drop a comment down below. What do you think? These wheels? Or should we try and get something a little bit more classy? Yeah, I don't know. 
that might actually work. So I think I might slap these on at some point. So yeah, drop me a comment down below and then yeah, what do you guys think? But I think that is going to be a wrap for this video, part two of the Pontiac Firebird build. Uh, in the next episode, I will be having a look at some of the mechanical problems in this car. Maybe do a engine replacement and fix up the suspension. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do, because we've got a lot more My Garage content coming soon. And yes, remember to turn on that notification bell for more videos upcoming. So yeah, until the next time, thank you very much. Cheers.